Hey, Visanta here. So, Halloween is just around the corner and Regalia Laws has having a rerun of Halloween Fantasia, but this time with new adventures. So, from the looks of it, Halloween Ellie may or may not come back. It could, she could be still in a banner, not boosted, but from the way it looks like it, featured adventure is Halloween Mim. So, we have a new fire axe that's actually stun resistance. And her co ability is actually different from different axes, from other axes. So let's look. Let's look at her skills. She has charming trick, which deals fire fire damage to enemies directly ahead and creates the debuff zone for ten seconds and reduces the defense of enemies inside it by fifteen percent. So she has the debuffer as her S one, and she does damage with it. So that's pretty good. Tempering fancy. Increases the stream of flame attuned adventurers in the team by 20% for 15 seconds and activated dream boost for 15 seconds. During dream boost, the user critical rate is increased by 5%. So one of our passive does use dream boost as well. So we can kind of go look at it later for the synergy. So here's the, the different part of this fire axe here. Instead of giving defense, she gives critical damage and this benefits the whole team, which could help out with teams like that running Arctos. Um, so it's, it's pretty nice. So it's more of a support offensive axe. I play Vanessa and HMS, I'm in guard. So now I have a new main I can use. So she also has stun resist. Okay, so her other ability here. She's also immune to burn, and she can shape shift into Brihilda regardless of what dragon, and then her attack rate increases when she's in that form. And, in, and while in that form, she also increases defense by 100%, so she can probably run by Valen Crown to get the defense double buff. Um, so it seems like a decent choice, but... The way that it works is that here, you also have Dream Boost, which allows more damage in Dragon form while she's in that Dream Boost. So you want a Dream Boost right before you Dragon, and then you do way more damage. And the way, the way that her cold ability works with Critical Damage, she worked great with Kung Fu Masters, though. So you can run like HMS Print with Kung Fu Masters, and then, or even Resounding Rendition, increase the crit rate to like more damage you dream boost you have your crit and then you do the critical damage Ooh, all right so we also have a new feature dragon which can totally help out with lsn and that's going to make uh hybrid hilda runs way easier because right now the meta is using lsn for as a buff bot so let's look at this dragon here hocus pocus Recovers HP to all allies and create a buff zone that lasts 10 seconds and increases the skill damage within it by 30%. So, healer, decent support. And then the, the main thing here is the skill haste that we see here. The skill haste 35%. Yeah, the water 30%, whatever. But the skill haste 35% is what that matters. So, you can activate that buff faster and faster. And there's a water dragon so it's gonna make Alison even more broken than it already is in in regular runs so you should really just summon for this dragon in my opinion and and mim makes a good addition to this you know waifu status and everything and it's a pretty good act i won't say it's the best but it's a pretty good axe with stun resist so you can run it in the hms all right so we do have two free temples though so you can also want to probably save your mind until after the two temples and see if you actually do get them and then you might you know end up saving some wormites. And there's also two other units that we're gonna take a look at. Let's just go in here. Uh, we'll watch this video. Um to go over Mim again and Halloween Mar Marty. So we'll, we'll watch this and then we can go over Halloween Lowen and Halloween Odetta. Join me in my crimson dreams. Crimson dreams. Charming trick. So you can see that's the size of that deep up zone. 
I like that. I like that icon. Her S2 does take a while to cast. Like, he dances with it. Tempering her fancy. Alright, so we have Halloween L L We have Halloween Lowen. And at this point, her S his S1 does the debuff and HP regen. So that already in itself is pretty good. And the S1 give you a defense buff. And then that's just, that's just a heal. The Halloween Odetta is a water sword support unit. And it does a debuff for S1. Her S2 is also a strength buff. So we have a bunch of buffers this time. And this is the new dragon. Frank! Damn. <laughs> he wants he want to be Frank. But yeah, so in my opinion, you should summon because the dragon in itself is pretty good. And Lowen is a pretty good healer to, to replace all the healers in HMS. And then we also have a buffing sword, so it's pretty nice. So all the units are pretty useful in their own sense. So go and summon. They're limited, so get at it. And with that, thanks for tuning in. I do stream every day on Twitch, unless otherwise specified. But in the evening, around reset for Dragalia Loss. So feel free to tune in on that. I'll leave my description down below. Also the Discord and my Twitter to get all the latest news. And with that, later days.